get that drink. Welcome back to the Queen's James channel. I appreciate everybody coming back. I hope everyone's week is going as good as it could possibly go. I hope you're having the best week ever. So that said, let's go ahead and get into some topics for the channel and for today. Uh, first of all, shout out to Nigeria for missing the World Cup, but I'm still rocking with them anyway. But that said, that's a segue because we have a way too early World Cup prediction video coming soon, so stay tuned to the channel for that. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe because we will be giving away another prize at 200 followers, subscribers. So make sure you hit subscribe, you don't want to miss out on that, and all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. So that said, we are down to the final eight teams in the Europa League. Um, I actually enjoy watching the Europa League sometimes more than I do the Champions League because the Europa League has a mix of top clubs, clubs that sometimes you've never heard of, uh, sometimes clubs that should not be there, and to be honest with you, the round of eight is exactly what it should be, uh, a mix of pretty much everything, and I love watching this because you don't really ever know what you're going to get or what's going to happen. So that said, uh, kick back, watch my prediction video, and it shouldn't take too long. Uh, we're looking at another short video, probably five to six minute range. So we'll go ahead and get right into the first matchup, which is the Bundesliga's RB Leipzig versus Serie A Atalanta. So it pains me to say this because I'm actually a huge Serie A fan, and uh, Atal Atalanta is not the same team that they were a few years back. Uh, some of their players are aging, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And RB Leipzig, to their credit, they've uh, been playing pretty well. Uh, I didn't. I thought it was a strange decision that they fired Jesse Marsh like that. But to be honest with you, it's kind of worked out well for both sides as he's doing well with Leeds, and RB Leipzig has played very well lately. Um, they got the unfortunate draw of being in the same group as PSG and um, Man City and Club Bruges. Uh, I believe it was. Uh, so obviously they weren't going to move on. So unfortunately, I think if you'd put them in another group, they may even still be playing right now. But that said, it does pay me to say this. I don't think Atalanta has really much of a shot here. Um, it'll take a miracle. And to be honest with you, I don't think that miracle is going to happen. Uh, no, it's got to be RB Leipzig, even though it, I don't like to say that. So the second round, we or the second matchup, we've got West Ham versus Lyon. And uh, interesting matchup. You know, Lyon is not the same team that it was in the past. So, you know, it, it's, it's hard to kind of get a feel for what they are. And to be honest with you, I, I think they're just an average team. Uh, West Ham, on the other hand, is playing for a lot in the... Um, in the domestic league, the English Premier League, they're playing for a lot, and they're actually playing very well. At the time of recording this video, they just overtook Manchester United um, for uh, for the place in the for the place in the table. And it, how serious is West Ham going to take this? I honestly think they're going to come in firing, and I think in the first leg they're going to absolutely come out all hands on deck per se. And Leon, I just don't think has an answer. I. I don't see any way that West Ham doesn't move on unless they just don't take this seriously and they decide to focus more on the English Premier League. That's the only way I see this. Uh, anything other than West Ham winning this. So we'll go on to the third matchup, which is Frankfurt versus Barcelona. Now, Barcelona has been on absolute fire since Ronald Koeman left, and you know, you know, they've made some additions, and, and honestly, they're... They've gained so much ground on Real Madrid in, in La Liga table. I honestly feel like if there was another month or month and a half left, I believe they would catch them. That's how good they've been playing lately. And um, Frankfurt, on the other hand, is they're kind of in the same boat as Lyon. This is not the same Frankfurt team we've seen in the past. Uh, in fact, I mean, they're just average in the Bundesliga. They only have, I think, a plus one goal differential. They're, they're just not... If not for the two teams that are in the next game, I would say of the teams I've mentioned so far, they're probably the least likely to make any kind of noise. So I think Barcelona wins this game uh, or wins this matchup uh, pretty easily. 
uh, I believe this Europa League means actually something to Barcelona right now, uh, considering how they started the season and et cetera, et cetera, and all the other things they had going on. So Barcelona wins this one without much of a fight, in my opinion. So now we go to the fourth matchup, which is an interesting one, where we've got Braga taking on the Rangers. Uh, I'm sorry, Rangers. Uh, don't let me disrespect you like that and say the. But um, Rangers are the better team, but that doesn't mean they're going to win. Uh, Rangers had that epic season last year, uh, but they've switched managers, <clears throat> and Celtic have kind of said, yo, uh, we're still the Kings. And they've proved that because they just beat them, beat the Rangers down uh, this past weekend. So heading into that game, confidence is what makes me a little weary on picking Rangers in this matchup. Uh, do they come out firing to, because they're pissed off that they lost to Celtic? Or are they beaten down and now that they're, you know, they've, for all intents and purposes, they just lost the league uh, in Scotland. And... Are they defeated? You know, did they come out fired? Did they come out with their heads down or their heads up? I don't know. But either way, Rangers are a better team, and I'm going to pick them. Uh, there's a huge butt in that game, though, depending on confidence. And no, I'm not just talking about Portuguese fans. It's not the big butt. A few people know what that joke means. Shout out to you guys. But, um, yeah, I got to go with Rangers. So those are my pick for the final eight games, or the final eight teams left for the four games. Let me know what you agree with. Let me know what you don't agree with. I actually am very interested to hear your picks for these because a lot of these I feel like could go either way. So thank you guys so much for watching, spending a few minutes of your day with me. Hope everybody's having a great week. Please subscribe, like. Peace out, guys.